Okay, so I got a question from a student asking for help regarding this topic, predicting the reactants of a neutralization reaction. A neutralization reaction, and uh, so I think to myself, yeah, you know, this is an acid-base question. Let's go back and review some of the topics before we, or some of the definitions before we do this topic. So I've got this pre-written here. You've seen me uh, do this in class. If you have an acid and you put it in water, then uh, by definition, the H plus is gonna come off and go onto the water, right? So if H plus comes off, it's left like that. And if the H plus goes on to here, plus H plus, then you can see what's going on, right? So the H plus comes off the acid by definition because it's an acid, right? All right, so then the other definition I want to review before we get into this is what is meant by a binary ionic compound. So if you have XY and it's in solution, if it's in water, then what it really means is you've got a cation, which is dissolved in water, and an anion, which is dissolved in water, X minus, okay? So this is how we write it. We write it XY aqueous, but how it really is is this. It's X plus and Y minus. So when we're doing these problems, I want to do, uh, I want to make similar notes. Let me get rid of this and this, then we'll have a nice whiteboard set up for us to do this problem, okay? Let's go back over here and look at this. So what we're supposed to do is figure out, just come on in, David. What we're supposed to do is figure out if I have uh, potassium hypochlorite and water as products, what must the reactant, what must the reactants have been? Let's go back over here. It's potassium hypochlorite and water. Come back over here. And it was, where, where, where's my marker here? Oh, I know why. I know why, yeah. Okay, just a minute here. Okay. If I've got potassium hypochlorite and water, okay, what must it, these have come from? So the reason I drew it like that was because I wanted to uh, accentuate that my water is oftentimes the solution of a um, neutralization reaction, right? So if I can take these electrons and put them over with the hydroxide, I can see water. This is liquid, so it really is H2O, but we can think about it like this, H plus and OH minus. And this was aqueous right so we can think about it like this this is K plus and ClO3 minus was it HClO3 or ClO3 minus let me let me go back over here no nope, it was just ClO okay sorry got to go back over here get myself an eraser boom get rid of that okay get rid of that okay all right so what we have is potassium and hypochlorite because remember, right? That's what aqueous means. Now that I'm looking at it like this, I say to myself, well, if this is the product, the reactant must have been the potassium mixed in with the other, uh, like here's two cations, right? Here's two anions. Okay, here's a cation, and here's a cation, right? And here's an anion, and here's an anion. Well, if potassium leaves the party with hypochlorite, it must have come into the party with hydroxide, right? Here's the two partners, either hypochlorite or hydroxide. So let's write potassium hydroxide over here I've just drawn that up, and can you see what's left? Looks like my HClO, okay? And HClO, of course, is perchlorous, or hypochlorous acid, right? Now, it also, we know it's gonna come in as aqueous, because it's an acid, and this is a base, or, um, or a salt, it's both a base and a salt. Okay, and so potassium hydroxide aqueous is one of the reactants and HClO is another reactant. Let's put this in here. Get, see the little nice green bar for it. 
and then we'll um, and then we'll do another one as part of the video. Okay, so it looks like the potassium hydroxide aqueous and HCl or L O aqueous. Okay, and they're aqueous because they're dissolved in water. All right, so let's check this off. Boom. Nice job. Give me some green, and let's do another one. A little slow here because I just took it off the um, wired connection, so I'm on wireless right now. A little slow. Oh, it doesn't think I'm connected. Crud, 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 crud. That's connected. Connect. All right. Sorry for the delay. I'm not even gonna. Del I'm not even gonna edit this out of here. I'm just gonna let. All right, so we're on there now. Let's check this. Nope, that's not what I want. I want reactants. Okay, so it's KOH, aqueous and HCl O aqueous okay let's check this get some green and move on and do another example what's the next example more practice so we'll do the same thing here calcium iodide let's come back with our notepad and let some um, just do it in a different color whatever we had was Calcium iodide plus water, of course. Sorry about that. I should have known that. Plus water, that's liquid, and that's aqueous, okay? So if that's aqueous, let's do this in a different color. This must be calcium 2 plus and iodides, right? There's two iodides, and H plus and hydroxide, okay? So what if this was, I'm going to put this in boxes. These are my cations will be in boxes and my anions will be in circles, okay? So if calcium iodide is the result, calcium must have come in with the other um, uh, anion. So it's going to be calcium hydroxide aqueous plus HI aqueous, okay? Well, there's two iodides, and it looks like there's two hydroxides. So if there's two hydroxides, there must have been two H pluses, right? So there must be two of this, okay? And balancing reactions is something way upstream of what we're talking about right now. So that part should be easy. So it's calcium hydroxide. See what I did? I broke everything apart and then switched partners, okay? And then drew it like it needs to be drawn. So all those other topics are, are upstream of what we're doing. Let's go back over here and say it was calcium hydroxide, subscript 2, AQ, plus uh, hydroiodic acid, AQ. Oops, and it was two of those. Two. And I, you know what? I'm also told I got to balance the reaction. If I need to, I'm going to have to put a two over here. All right. Okay, so let's get some green on that because the green is always a nice little reward for us at the end and we'll be done. All right. I hope that's helpful. Uh, let me know if you want, want more.